it's me, Piper, from Piper's Tricks TV. Oh, wait, we're not doing Piper's Tricks TV. It's just me, Piper. I'm 14 years old, and I'm going into 10th grade. So you asked what my favorite room in the house is. Well, usually a teenage girl would say their bedroom because they've got their bed, and I can write all my diary in here and do texting at night, stuff like that. Except I'm in a temporary situation, and not all teenage girls have one of these in their room. Help me. So let's go somewhere else. So no, the bathroom's not my favorite room in the house either, but you did ask me about my favorite color, and that would be glitter. Wait, where's the rest of my glitter? That's more like it. So you did ask where I practice my talent, and I spend hours getting ready for the red carpet in the bathroom. So I have all my makeup in here, and it definitely cuts down the time. With all the Disney coverage we do, we have to bring a little bit of the magic back home with us. So these are the hitchhiking ghosts. They follow you home. Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite rides, and Ezra is my favorite hitchhiking ghost. We kind of have a thing going on here. So I've come to the conclusion that if I have to pick a favorite room inside the house, it would be the living room, because this is where I watch my favorite 90s shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charmed, and Beverly Hills 90210. I love all three of them. I haven't finished Beverly Hills yet. I really want to watch that. So this is where I do all my relaxing after I do my work on the red carpet. This is where I film a bunch of intros and outros for Piper's Picks. I get a lot of people asking me who my favorite person has been to interview. I don't have one specific because I liked a ton of people I interviewed a lot, but let me give you a hint on one of them. <laughs> yep, Idina Menzel. She was super cool to interview. I also loved interviewing Selena Gomez because I watched Wizards of Waverly Place all the time when I was little and still go back and watch it again now. Switching gears, let me tell you a little bit about my family. So there's my dad who helps me a lot with Piper's Pick stuff. He does all the production, a lot of the writing, and a lot of the editing. I do the questions though. And there's my brother, who is a pain in the butt, but we get along once in a while. <laughs> He's really fun to watch TV with and stuff. We watch Adventure Time a lot. And then there's my mom, who is always, always, always my shopping buddy. We also watch TV sometimes and stuff like that, but definitely lots and lots of shopping. <laughs> When I was little, my mom did all the makeup for Piper's Picks because I was not able to do hair or makeup at seven years old. <laughs> Let's move on to where I do my preparation for the show. Yep, I do all my preparation in the car. My dad likes to bring up actor names that I wouldn't necessarily know to really test my skills and see if I can still come up with questions. And gives me some really strange answers. So when he stresses me out too much, that's what these are for. So we didn't just come here to randomly talk about where I prepare. We're actually here for one of my favorite bakeries, Porto's. Their chocolate chip cookies are really amazing. Let's go. The bakery is huge inside. Sorry, I can't see well, by the way. And they have pretty much every dessert there is. All kinds of apple stuff and fruity stuff. I actually really love fruit, so any dessert with fruit in it sounds even better. They also have chocolate chip cookies that are always my favorite. I think I mentioned those before. They're really, really good. The only thing that I can think of that comes close are the bakeries in Disney. Disneyland, Disney World, that kind of thing. But, sorry. <laughs> so let's go inside. They also have drinks and stuff like that. So they have pretty much everything. And it's less expensive than Starbucks. It was a long walk because there were no parking spaces, but we made it. Let's go. One of the things I really like about this bakery is that it's designed kind of like the bakeries in Disney World. And yes, I said Disney World. We're originally from Florida, but we've been in LA for the past six years. The only thing I don't like is the super long wait, but it's worth it. <laughs> this looks so awesome. Can I get all of them? Every single one of them? So this is what it looks like when Porto's runs out of brownies, chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal, raisin, etc. And I'm waiting. I'm not leaving here without my cookies. Why don't we go window shopping while we're waiting? Come on. Oh my god, this is all patterned after Mary Blair's work. You know who she is, right? She designed all the stuff for It's a Small World, and if you've ever been to Disney World, the Contemporary Hotel, she designed that gigantic mural. That's a lot of designing. Let's see if they have stuff in my size. This is so weird and cool. Look what they have in the window. That's Allison Ashley Arm. It's for her new web series. Remember her? Zora from Sunny with a Chance. Demi Lovato show? You know what I'm talking about. So originally we were only gonna get two cookies and then we ended up with two bags of cookies. Must be part of the Porto's plan to make you starving and then you buy a bunch of cookies. But I'm not waiting till I get home. And I'm not sharing. Oh my God, do not enter. You guys want to know about me? I'm a total rebel. So this has been just the slightest bit tiring, but you saw what was in my room before, so that's why I'm out here on the couch with Barry, which is spelled B-E-R-R-Y. 
just to be clear. I didn't know what else to put in here, so I wanted to throw in a little interview, but backwards. So my dad's going to interview me since he's my partner for Piper's Picks. Come on. Do you want to tell the story about how we ended up starting Piper's Picks, or do you even remember because you were just a kid then? <laughs> I remember. I've told it enough times since I was a kid to remember how to answer it. So we were walking back from the pool, and we were talking about how I just don't stop talking and have too much energy sometimes, like how I run around in circles after I drink a little bit of coffee. So then we decided that, well, you mentioned to me that we should start a talk show, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we started off talking about Domino's Pizza, which was actually our first episode. And then a couple episodes later, we did a episode about iCarly, and then that was when Jeanette McCurdy contacted us about doing an interview. And since we were both in Miami at the same time, I was able to interview her. Episode 16 of Piper's Picks TV. That's my first interview. Who haven't you interviewed yet that you'd like to interview? Oh, that's a long list. Um, the cast of Once Upon a Time, since that's one of my favorite shows. The cast of The Vampire Diaries, since that's also one of my favorite shows. And I've never interviewed myself. I just think that would turn out really interesting. You hear from kids that watch the show sometimes. What stands out? Like, what kind of interesting stuff do you hear from kids that watch the show? Um, I get a lot of kids looking up to me, and that's really sweet because it's... I get messages that, like, something that I would think of sending to someone I admire, like Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, someone like that. And I get kids writing that to me, and I think it's really cool that they take the time to do that. Has anyone ever been different than what you expected when you interview them? <laughs> yeah, I've found that actors are not their characters, which is a misperception that a lot of people have because they think when they meet actors that they'll be exactly like their characters are just because they've played the characters for so long. What's the strangest thing that you can think of that's happened while you've been filming Piper's Picks? Um, when you got mad at me for not doing my lines right and yelled, pauses, pauses, pauses. I have no recollection. <laughs> and, then, What's and then, hold on, hold on. When we came to California for the first time and I needed energy, so you gave me chocolate because I needed to have chocolate before my interviews. That's a lot of quotes. Yes, um, What's one of the coolest edits that you've seen on Piper's Picks? The one that that guy helped you out with. <laughs> the one that helps me <laughs> No. It's a lonely job. <laughs> the one that I suggest. Oh, I like the glitter effects. Anything with glitter. Just like... Okay. Can you make glitter fly out of my hands when I say that too? Like, What's your favorite thing about doing Piper's Picks? Um, I really like to talk about people and like learn something new about people. And like the interaction that I have when I'm talking to people on the red carpet and stuff, it's really cool. And it's really cool when I'm talking to someone and they're like, Oh my God, I've seen your show before. And I'm doing an interview with them. What's it like working with your dad? Aggravating, frustrating, and great. Are you a good student? Yes, I have straight A's in honors classes as of now, because I haven't started next year yet, so don't make me nervous about that one. Who's cuter, Ron or Harry? Harry, are you kidding me? Harry's so cute. So you're just getting to season three of Beverly Hills 90210. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of Dylan and Brenda. So should Dylan switch to Kelly? No, cheating is wrong. <laughs> Cheating is wrong, and you're not getting this microphone back until I finish this. And I think that it's important that Dylan doesn't cheat on Brenda because Dylan's cute and Brandon's cute, so they should be nice to their girlfriends. Who's the cutest boy that you've worked with on a show? Wait, I can't answer that live, can I? Wait, what? <laughs> answer that question? I don't know, because... No, I've seen your interviews, and I think your response would be, you're not getting out of this one. <laughs> I'm not answering this one. I really, it's confidential. And you sh you know, you know the answers, answers, plural. What are some of your favorite toys? My phone, my selling digit. Tell something about yourself that most people wouldn't know. The only time I get nervous is when I talk to a guy I really like. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty secretive. And I if feel a girl, like opened up to you girls first. come to you advice for some sometimes. Mm -hmm. If a girl said I get nervous around guys I like, what advice would you give them? Um, I'd probably just tell them to stay chill, don't drink any caffeine the day you're seeing the guy you like, and just think about being sweet. Think about being sweet rather than worrying about how you look or something like that. Because when it really comes down to it, they're more focused on what's inside than what's outside. And I know that sounds really cliche now that I'm saying it, but it's true. So.
Okay, good night, everyone. Oh, also, I do an Australian accent, and it's not that great to someone who's actually Australian, but if you're American, you wouldn't actually notice. So. Water! This video was brought to you by the letter S. For subscribe, try it. Every click makes the world a better place.